this is the pattern. It's not the tarpaulin. This is the pattern. And we take this to the tarpaulin place, and they make the white uh, PVC tarpaulin uh, from the pattern we're doing right now. So we will be back with more. My paradise on Italian Island. Yeah, baby. We got a tarpaulin pattern in the making. Basically, we took a piece of tarpaulin that wide. It, we've, it's, a pe it's a sheet, one sheet, but it's folded four times. So in the center line just happened to be the perfect center line where the fold line is for the boat. So we cut that sheet in half and we're kind of notching out some things areas around where this will go down there'll be a flap here this is the opening to the back of the boat so we're just trying to keep rain water washing off and not in and then this side here we want about a two inch overhang and we happen to have a two by four that's almost two inches hey, that's the tape measure I don't know exactly how wide it really is. One and three fourths. So it's one and three fourths. And what we're doing, we're putting it under this lip. Do you see this lip here? This lip here. We put it under here, and then and then we mark on the tarpaulin down under here, and we move it to here, and then we mark it again. And so we're basically going down this this whole side here. I'm kind of close to the thing, sliding this as the thickness gauge. Then when I cut it, because it's one and three fourths, and we may want it two or two and a half, I'll just drop down another three fourths of an inch or so and uh, cut it from there. But at least I've got a reference line and I'm not just kind of eyeballing it. So anyway, <clears throat> we also have a little handy dandy PVC little ridge lines in here. There's one in, up there. You can see the blue PVC in here. We got this one. This is the engine cover here, so it's gonna have to come up above these points so that when it rains it doesn't pull up somewhere it'll, it'll just slide off the side so what we're doing now we pretty much well we start with an eyeball <laughs> actually cutting this oversize here down cutting for the cross brace uh, so anyway if anybody wonders what this cross how this cross brace works this is permanently attached to this hole. This is permanently attached to that hole. This piece here goes all the way through from the outer hole, from the inside of the outer hole, all the way to the center of this hole. And it's all bolted. You can see these big, uh, I don't know if these are 3 8 or 5 16 or what size bolts, but they're all bolted through here. And then we also have... Uh, stainless steel strap you can kind of see these marks here this black line and this black line well there's a 316 stainless steel strap that also goes across here and that's bolted and there's one on this side too the one on this side is the same length as this board it goes all the way from the inside of the outer side <laughs> the inside of the outer side of that all the way over to the center here and on the back we've got a short piece and there's a bolt through here and a bolt through here and then we got a short piece of stain list on the back plate to sandwich it so so there's a continuous connection through bolts and stainless steel and uh, two by four mahogany all the way through and on this side you'll see we don't have the removable parts see the back this comes off and this comes off but this is permanent and this is permanent just like this see right here it's permanently connected into the boat this is one piece from here all the way to the end of there that's one piece mahogany this is one piece mahogany all the way from here to the outer hole and they're all uh boxed in with uh you can see it's all two by four solid two by fours everywhere and the verticals we got the cross bracing in here for the back and all the way up and down the side. So if you ever wondered how are we going to keep this thing together, that's the plan. We'll see if it works. It should work, but as you can see, the front's the same thing. And over there, we got we got that one connected without the stainless steel straps, obviously, and this one not connected at all. It's just kind of lined up, you know, so we can get our tarpaulin and stuff on and make sure that the measurements from here to there are correct. So we're going to get back on this job here, the tarpaulin cover 
uh, rain gear, we could call it rain gear, uh, and marking it. And again, we've marked this side here. And the marker doesn't show up very good, but basically there's a little blue line. You can barely see it right here. But anyway, I can see it in this light, so we're good to go. So we're going to mark this side. And we will be back with more tarpaulin. All right, everybody, we got it. So what we've done, see all the little trimmings, we marked all these little circles here on the tarpaulin. That's where holes go in the tarpaulin so we can put stuff. But we also marked these holes where there's support inside. See, like this is a big, thick two who by four. But the other places we marked them, we're where there's these boards, actually vertical boards, which we have. I don't know if you can see them. There's one right there. So we drill through the thick vertical board. We don't drill through the plywood for these because it'll rip out at some point in time. So we drill through the one by one by uh, three fourths by one or whatever that wood is. And then the next one down there, we do it there too. Or we can go through this top board here if we want to, or one through the top and one through the vertical one through the horizontal up here and one through the ver vertical there we'll see how it works out we'll see what what fits best so anyway this is our pattern and again those are little holes we lined them up we marked well you can see it on the oh yeah right here on the boat we marked these and then this hole lines up with that that's where the vertical uh, support is where the heavier piece of wood is so we can uh, get these things so they don't rip out hopefully everything is a hopefully because we'd never try this stuff but that is basically i mean of course that's a little caught there but this is basically once it gets all clipped down it'll be a little more snug but not much more it'll be basically just kind of a loose sort of fitting tarpaulin that rain can't pull up and collect on see see we got the rope going to here keeping making this v, v down once we pull these down then it goes like a ridge line and we're good so anyway we are done with the tarpaulin pattern we got to take that over we, we've cut out these little notches here and we're leaving a, a little flap to set on top of here but the tarpaulin will go down there we'll trim these off so there's the tarpaulin guys, they know if it's a little zigzag, they just draw a straight line between this corner and this corner and cut and cut their pattern like that. They've done this before. <laughs> so, anyway, we will be back with more from my paradise on Bentayan Island. Of course, you see, we got the trampoline flipped up. We flip them down and we can sleep on them. You've seen the video, or maybe you haven't, where we connect a, a hammock from across between these two, four, actually there's four shark fins from the one in the front to the one in the front, one in the back to the one in the back. And we got two hammocks there. And then we can connect one from the back over to the front corner over there. And then we have a third hammock and two trampolines that we can sleep on if we want to go camping. And we're all under here. And the hammocks have got built-in oh, mosquito nets that are really cool. They just zip. The whole thing just zips. And it's really nice. Really, really cool. So, anyway, we will be back with more from my paradise on Bentayan Island. That be the tarpaulin yeah, folks, well, Ow. today we are having an epoxy party. See that right there? That's the epoxy. Again, we're using the non-sag. Not necessary on this job, but that's just a small can, so we don't want to bust open a gallon can to just do this minor little bit of epoxy. So anyway, we got bolts, screws, whatever you want to call them, going through the side of the hole. Uh, into the inside and then we got little nuts that we put on there those little nuts and washers there's this uh self-locking or whatever you can call them locking nuts they got nylon on the inside that kind of like a locking nut so what we do is we uh force epoxy into the holes with this uh 
putty knife right here. We put it on the corner and then we just kind of shove it into the hole, kind of push it into the hole with the corner of that blade and, and kind of pack the hole as much as we can. Then we take and kind of get these all like epoxied up, loaded up with the epoxy, and then we start putting them in the holes. And what we do, we actually screw them into the hole. I mean, there's no threads there, but we, we screw them into the hole here with the screw gun, and that way it kind of ho hopefully is, is kind of threading the glue, the epoxy, into the, into the hole all the way through. And there's no pressure, so the screw thing comes out. Bam, that got crooked, so. But that'll kind of screw the epoxy through there. And when you get to the other side, it'll actually, like a little, I don't know what they call them, but it screws it and pulls the epoxy from the outside that we pressured it in, in right here, right there. It sucks it back into the hole there. That's my theory. Now we take all that globbed on epoxy there that we kind of pushed out with the screw and we kind of put a little bit on the washer. This little washer, we put some on there and then we uh, just kind of push it into the hole. So, and then screw the screw on, but that's a two-handed job, so I can't do it with with my phone. But those two things that are sticking out, those are the, the bolts or slash screws that are coming through. Stainless steel, of course, 304, you know, marine grade. And the other thing we're doing, I forgot to mention this, is we're going to put another, another hoop on the inside here, further distance. Whoops. And I'm doing this through the eye of the camera, so... It's not exactly. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got it. Okay. Then we put these on the inside. This on the outside. And then we can, if we need to, like, hook a rod and reel to it. Or hook anything to it. Just clip on because we got all these little carabines. There's different sizes just that fit perfectly on these. And then we put them on the inside. See, like that one. There is on the inside. We'll cut those little screw heads, those screw ends off, and send, find, file them down so that they're not sharp. Same with this one. Like, this one's kind of kind of long. I've got my angle grind. And I'll just cut through that. And then we're doing it to all these. Everything here is going to get epoxied so that water can't get into the center of the wood. Here, if we seal the outside and seal the inside... Or the outside of the inside and the outside of the outside water shouldn't go in and get in the inside of the wood which is where the rot occurs and you don't know it until all of a sudden this, there's a hole in the side of your boat but we don't want a hole in the side of a boat so that's why we're slathering on all this uh, epoxy and that's it so i gotta put the washers and nuts on there and then i'm done with that one and then on to the next one these ones here because see one screw went through a thin part once went through a two who by four well you can't put that hoop on there because it has to be flat it, it doesn't work at an angle like one high and one low so those don't get the little double hoop but this one will and that one up front will if you can see it right there that one will get the double hoop on the inside hoop on the outside like there's outside and inside so that's what we're up to my wife is cleaning these up Making them look nice. And again, like I said, if you get your finger wet, you can smooth this epoxy because epoxy doesn't stick to water very good. It sticks to dry fingers like that, though. So, but if you want to wash your hands while it's still wet, just wash them in water and that'll that'll get them clean. That's how I clean most of the epoxy off my fingers to hold my camera. So I wouldn't epoxy <laughs> my camera. So I missed a couple spots. But we will be back with more as you can see these are the they put down and the trampoline just tried to knock me out i put up against that end there okay oh i'm zoomed in that's why we can't tell everything so anyway working on the center hole now because it was raining some and we're covered by the tarpaulin here so we don't have to worry about rain interfering with our our job 
So I'm going to get busy, and we'll be back with more from my third eye, some Italian island. Yeah, we got stuff. It's an epoxy party. Yeehaw. Paradise out. Hey, everybody. Look at that. White as snow. But what we're doing here, we're making these little clips on here so we can clip the uh, tarpaulin onto here. And just snap it on, and I've got one hand looking through a camera. So, And these aren't screwed in and epoxy and stuff yet. So anyway, there we go. We clip these on. And then we'll pull this tight o over here on that side. I gotta put one here. I gotta put one right here where these two dots are. One, hey, where'd the hoop go? But you can see. Yeah, so I gotta drill two holes here and then mount that guy right there. And then this clip here will clip onto him. I better check that distance and make sure that we're right. Maybe it's this one. We'll see. One of these two holes. But anyway, so we got all these done here along this side, pretty much. And we are not doing this. Oh, also like this back one here. Clips on here, too. Clips on here. Like that. Blah, blah. So when the boat's parked, the rain won't get in here. And we're not doing this side. You see, this side's longer here over the side. That's about two inches or two and a half, maybe three at the most, overhang. But this one's got, this is four or six. And the reason that it's four or six is because we're actually going to put a, a, a rope down the center that raises this up. And then that'll bring this to the two and a half or so inches. And then that, that crease line that's higher than the sides will make the rain uh, run off. And... Uh, not get in with the, the boat. We'll have a rope going through here, tied to here and here, and then it'll it'll hook underneath this part here, and that'll hold the front like that. And in the back, of course, you saw the clips on there. We're going to have to add a couple clips, two clips onto this outside here. We didn't do that earlier, but we need to add another set of clips. The other thing we're doing, we're adding, we're, we're thinking about putting two clips on here so we have little hoops on the inside to clip things to. Like when you're fishing with your rod, if you're fishing for big fish, you tie your rod, you have like a little lan lanyard from your rod and you clip it onto your boat so that if a big fish yanks the rod out of your hand, he don't win the rod. <laughs> He's <coughs> still on the hook and you just grab your lanyard and pull your rod back in. So yeah, so everywhere these two things are, we're gonna we're gonna add another hoop on the inside here. That's one of those hoops that we can clip stuff to all all the way down. And everywhere there is one on this side too. So you know they'll be on this side too. So we'll have little hoops everywhere. I just hope I have en enough of these. They got when I ordered the first set, they were big, heavy duty ones, and when I ordered the second set, they were small ones. And so I ordered a third set, and I was hoping they'd be the big ones, because I like the big ones more. Uh, and I got big ones. So I've got quite a few of these, but I hope I have e enough, because I had to do three holes. All three holes with these. So I may have to, I may not be able to put all the inside hoops on there. We'll see uh, how many of these smaller ones. Because I mean the small ones for these, because there's no real stress on these, you know. On the ones at the front there, I'm tying up to here and doing a steel cable also from uh oh yeah from the here clipping on there and going to a steel cable to hook on to here to keep the the top from swaying in the waves all this structure up here from from swaying i got steel cables with uh, turn buckles if you've been watching the videos you saw that so right now we're going to finish drilling this hole i got to make sure this is in the right place and then we will make a rope. Well, it's almost five again. It's almost the end of the day. So after I get this one done, that'll probably be it for the day. Then tomorrow we'll come back and string our rope structure here. I plan on putting a piece of PVC like this, a short piece. This is orange, but it'll be in the center of the boat here. I'll have a T. I mean, obviously it won't be this tall. It'll be however high I want the tarpaulin to do. And I'll have a T here. And then I'll have the rope that goes from there. It'll go through, through the T and back to my cleats back here. I'll have a rope 
going from here over to here and then I'll have a little loop on here and I'll probably have one of those little carabiners and I'll pull that rope tight that goes through the T on the PVC and just clip it onto this rope and that'll keep it keep that cylinder up high so the rain drains off. You'll see that. You'll see it. I don't have to explain so much when you see it. Picture's worth a thousand words. So we will be back with more putting on the hoops. From my paradise on Italian Island. It's hoop time. Paradise out. All right, everybody. What we decided to do, you know, because we had our little thing there. Oh, I gotta. These kids like to do this. They call blessing, but kids can't bless you. But and I don't know that I can bless anybody. But I think it's supposed to be respect. But the little kids do that around here. See that there? That's a Filipino tradition. And so, and uh, good kids. <laughs> Filipino kids are some of the best kids there are. So that's that's a good thing. They're not all perfect, but they're pretty good, dang good kids. It surprises me how good they are. Uh, so anyway, back to this. So this thing goes here like this, and then I'll put a little piece of blue PVC between here and between here, and then this long shaft will set down in, in there and go up to another T. Where'd the other T go? This T, and then a rope for the crest line will go on top of that, as you've seen before. So we'll tie a rope from there through the this upright PVC thing and back to maybe, maybe here. We also have a cleat we could tie it to back here if we wanted to tie it to a cleat, but We'll see. We'll see what works best. So we're going to do that. I'm going to do a bunch of gluing, some cutting. I got the handy dandy cutting thing. So if you ever have a lot of PVC to cut, or you think in your lifetime you'll cut a lot of PVC, get one of these because these will just slice right through it. I've been using hacksaws and stuff, and, it's, and it cuts it. It cuts it pretty fast, but still, you got to clean up the edges because it's all it's all rough, and there's all kinds of extra PVC left. But this thing, just a nice clean sweet cut. So get you some of those so i'm going to do that and we'll be back with more for my paradise on italian island we're making the roof line pvc roof line thingamajig paradise Hello, everybody. out this is the end result of our pvc rope roof line project here we just run this through here and again this is adjustable so wherever we want the high point we can move this around and set it down we're going to cut that and put a coupling there and this top pipe will just slide down in and there won't be glued we made a mistake and glued that and we didn't want to glue it but it's e easier to store if it's two separate pieces a long skinny piece and a basically a flat piece so and then it goes back here clips onto the center loop that we tied with this clip these two hook on here and here so basically we unclip this this comes off that comes off and we're done with uh keep getting the roof line out so right now but anyway that's basically it and what happens honey get that in honey get that in so when we are storing the boat or just driving the boat and we don't want these open if it's raining or some Thing, then we put that on, on, on there and voila the rain sheds off the sides see? and then these because we made this wider than it needed to be because i knew it was going to go like that and the engine's also going to raise up somewhere in the center here it's going to be higher than the, the the cover is going to be higher the engine will be about the height of the of the gun i don't know but you need some clearance above there for air and cooling and stuff so it'll be higher also and we can adjust this, just cut, it's just PVC. We cut it, we glue it, we add it, taller, whatever we want to do, anytime we want to do it. It's a simple process. Okay, now we got to put the little clips, clippy little hoops, call them hoops on here. Put all these on here, like that. So this will all clip in, just like this side clips in. I think you guys saw that there. See how it all clips in, everything clips in like that like that like that clip in so we're all clipping in to keep the rain and the water and that, especially when it's stored i mean when i say stored we're not driving it it's parked out in the ocean somewhere in my backyard front yard whatever yard you want to call it uh so anyway that is what we're doing now 
we don't know if it's going to rain or not. It's looking kind of ominous out there, but we're going to press on until we, it's sprinkling some. I can feel misting, but there's a clearing there, so who knows what's going to happen weather-wise. We're always questioning weather here as to what we can work, but the good news is we can get under here if we're working on this side. If we're working on this side, we're not under here enough to be out of the rain, but so we got the center line done now we can measure and get these hoops in the right place so that when we clip this it'll be nice and snug so we will be back with more in my paradise i'm italian island we got her shedding the rainwater paradise out <laughs>